everybody welcome back to sunshine soap and candle company today we're going to be making a gel to milk cleanser a creamy foaming cleanser and a foaming sugar scrub using one versatile ingredient this formulation journey started when i was bound and determined to duplicate this cocoa kind oil to milk cleanser and I started researching ingredients and came across this ingredient called Sucre Clear. I'm gonna go more into detail about this ingredient when we get into the video. But I started working with Sucre Clear and started to realize just how versatile it was. And I cannot wait to show you these three ways to use it. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through and show you my step-by-step -step process of how to create these three luxurious formulas. If you would like the full recipes for all three of these formulas, including a detailed step-by-step -step blog style tutorial, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you'll be able to unlock this formula, all three of these formulas, at just the $5 level. Not only will you be able to unlock these three formulas, but you'll be able to unlock almost four years of archived formulas. I post weekly tutorials, sometimes twice weekly, recipes and tutorials for you to take advantage of. And there are also four other tiers for you to take a look at and take advantage of if you like. We offer things like bonus recipes, live quarterly classes, monthly hangouts, monthly gift packages, and much more. It's a great way to connect with me, a great way to connect with other makers. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to my campaign down below. We are also offering a 10% off coupon code to makesy.com when you sign up to my Patreon campaign, in addition to the already existing five and $10 off coupon code to onlinelabels.com, making your sign up so well worth it. I really hope you'll check it out. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put the link again in the description box below. All right, let's get into it. All right, before we get started, I wanted to talk to you about this ingredient, Sucre Clear. Now, as I stated in the intro, I was looking to duplicate this gel to milk or oil to milk cleanser by Coco Kind. I purchased this at Whole Foods, and this is a really interesting cleansing product. You guys have seen me make um, solid cleansing balms before, but this one is kind of like a gel or just a cleansing balm that's not solid. These are becoming more popular and you apply it to your dry skin and then you add a little bit of water and it turns into like a milky, creamy cleanser that doesn't foam and then it just rinses off cleanly. So while I was researching ingredients that are in this product, I came across uh, this ingredient called Sucre Clear. I got this from Makesy.com and Sucre Clear is a gelling agent so basically you can turn your oils into a gel and it's made with some pretty natural ingredients it's made with glycerin fractionated coconut oil water sucrose laurate and sucrose stearate and when you add it to your oils it gels up but it also acts as an emulsifier which is why you get that creamy milk when you add your water to it so I'm going to show you how to first make a gel to milk cleanser very much like the coco kind brand the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and weigh off the super clear needed for this project now i'm going to be honest with you the super clear is not an inexpensive ingredient um, so you really do need to decide if these are products you're going to make for yourself, gift or sell. So it's just very, um, you'd have to price your, your products up if you decided to sell products with Circo Clear in it. However, I have, it makes the most luxurious and decadent products and the Coco Kind oil to milk cleanser was, was not really a cheap one to purchase either. So this could be part of maybe an upscale line of products if you decided to make and sell products using Super Clear. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. So this is what it looks like. It's just kind of like a, a very viscous like oil type substance. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and weigh off the oil-based ingredients for this project. 
So the first oil-based ingredient we're going to be weighing off is some apricot kernel oil. Now because this is a rinse-off product, I didn't want to get too crazy um, decadent with the oils because it's not going to stay on your skin. You're going to be rinsing it off. So we're using apricot kernel oil because it's a nice, lightweight, airy feeling oil that has a nice, silky feeling to it. Okay. Now the Coco Kind brand, I think they use grapeseed oil if I remember correctly. I'm not sure which oil they use. I think it's grapeseed oil. Um, I could be wrong though, but they use a lot of oat type products. So we're going to do that as well. So the next oil based ingredient that we're going to be adding in is something called oat emollient. I got the oat emollient from makingcosmetics.com and it's just basically oat kernel oil. It's a very emollient feeling oil. Probably don't need a pipette here. Oat oils and oat products are also very well known for their calming properties to help soothe irritated skin. There we go. And then the next thing we're going to be adding in is some Optifin preservative. Now, I'm making a big base of the gel to milk cleanser because we're going to be using parts of this to create the other formulas and this will make more sense as we move forward. So I'm going to be adding Optifin preservative to this formula enough to cover all three formulas that we're going to be making here. All right, now I'm gonna be giving this a good stir. And then we're gonna go ahead and start combining it with our Sucre Clear. All right, so to be honest with you as well, Sucre Clear took a little while for me to learn how to use. So not only is it kind of an expensive ingredient, there is a very particular way to create a gel-like consistency or an emulsion, so to speak. So the first thing you're gonna do is just get your immersion blender. I don't recommend making a tiny, tiny batch or a micro batch of this. I don't recommend anything less than a 100 gram batch. It's very hard to get a stable emulsion or a gel-like texture when you're making a micro batch. Um, that's because this product builds viscosity as you add the oil. So I'm gonna, I hope I can help to make sense of that. Um, a, you can do it by hand, but I really, really recommend you use a high shear mixer like this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started. So what you do is you just pour a little tiny bit of your oil. After you blend this first, you add a little tiny, tiny bit of your oil in here. About that much, just a small pour. And then you're gonna blend this until you get a white and shiny kind of creamy looking substance. what it looks like 
after you mix that initial oil into it, just like a creamy white milky substance. It's still very, very runny. Now, as you add the oil in here, it is gonna create and build viscosity. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start pouring little bits of oil in at a time. And start building that viscosity. Okay, and you're gonna check it every so often to make sure that it still has like, it's not separating out, that it's staying emulsified. So this process alone can take about five to ten minutes depending on how you're mixing it and as you continue to mix the product will start to become more uh, transparent in color. So I'll bring you back when all of the oil has been combined with the sucre clear. All right, we're about halfway through adding in the oils at this point, and I just wanted to show you what it's looking like. It's building great viscosity. It's got a really nice body to it. So at this point, it gets hard to stick blend. So you can hand mix in the rest, and you can start adding in a little bit more oil at a time. and just giving it a good mix. Now, if you don't have a real, real thick viscosity going on, don't add more oil. It's just gonna separate out. And it happened to me several times until I kind of got the knack of how to work with this product. So I'm hoping this video is helpful because it was hard to find a lot of really helpful information. There's directions on makesy.com, but it's always nice to have, have a visual because the first time you use a product can sometimes be tricky until you get the hang of it. And you just continue mixing it in. Again, don't add more oil until you get that nice viscosity back then you know it's well combined see that so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to add the rest of this oil in and I'll bring you back when it's all combined all right so this is what it looks like after it gets all incorporated and this is the base to your gel to milk cleanser or your oil to milk cleanser we are gonna add a few more things to this but not before we divide the batch so I did switch it to this container because I wanted to weigh out exactly what I had um, before we divide the batch up. So now we're going to divide the batch into three parts so I can continue on making three different formulas. So this is why this formula is super, super versatile. It's just an amazing product. So we're going to go ahead and weigh off what we need to split this into thirds. Oops, lost a little bit there. All right. All right, now we have the batch divided up into three separate little batches here, and we're gonna finish making the gel to milk cleanser in this one. So the Coco Kind version, I told you had a lot of like oat type products, and one of them was like a fermented oat that's supposed to help exfoliate your skin gently. So we're gonna be adding a little bit of this Bacillus Ferment. And this is water, glycerin, propylene glycol, Bacillus Ferment. 
and it is used in anti-aging creams, gels, body washes, lotions, whitening products, scrubs, and basically it's just really good at um, gently exfoliating the skin you basically with its lower pH so it's not a manual exfoliation it's more of a little bit of a chemical exfoliation and then we're going to be adding in a little bit of geranium essential oil geranium essential oil is what is in the coco kind version and it's a really really good facial oil um, it's a really good essential oil for the face it's used in a lot of anti-aging products. You don't need a lot of geranium to uh, make a big difference. Geranium is very powerful. So just be aware of how much you're using. So this is also part of the oil phase of this formula. The Bacillus ferment is a water-based ingredient. But remember I told you at the beginning that the sucre clear also acts as a bit of an emulsifier. So we're going to add a little bit of this in here and then we're going to give it a good stir by hand. And that geranium, use at a small rate, smells very, very good. It can be overpowering if you use too much, but I think this is a very much close to the Coco Kind version. Okay, so exciting. So this, this is it. So my, my little Bacillus Ferment is in there. It's got the good bacteria that your skin likes to help protect your microbiome and keep everything in balance. And it also gently exfoliates. Okay, so there you have it. There's the first formula, that's the gel to milk cleanser. And we're gonna go ahead and pop the finished product into this little four ounce PET container. And I will give you guys a use demo at the end because I cannot wait to show with you how all three of these work. Super, super awesome. Okay. So there is the gel to milk cleanser. I'm going to pop a lid on this and set this off to the side and then I'm going to show you the next part. So I started to think as I was formulating with this product, could you make a sugar scrub out of it? Could you make a, um, a foaming cleanser out of it? And what would you add to keep it more of an anhydrous product? So all these ideas started popping into my head after I had been using it for a few tries, and I came up with, I think, the best formula. So the next thing we're gonna be showing you here is how to make a foaming cream cleanser using the same base. Now, mind you, I haven't added any fragrance or anything into this one, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and add in some SCI. But first, I think I want to add in a little bit of fragrance oil and get that mixed in. So this is Nirvana fragrance oil by Nurture Soap. It smells really pretty. It's a really nice springtime fragrance. So we're going to go ahead and add this in. We're going to give it a good mix. Just make sure the base fully incorporates with that fragrance oil. It smells so good. You guys are gonna be so excited about this when I show you the, the use demo. Okay, once the fragrance is combined, 
Then we're going to add the bubbling agent to this. Now, I thought about for a while how I was going to incorporate a bubbling agent into this and to keep it more of an oil-based or anhydrous product. And I decided to go with SCI powder. This is sodium cocoa isothenate powder. And you definitely want to wear a mask while working with this until it gets dampened down. But this is going to incorporate into this perfectly. And then I'll, I'll show you how that works. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding this in gently so we don't kick up a bunch of dust. If you don't have the powder, you can um, take the noodles and then blend them up in a spice a spice grinder or a coffee grinder. Okay. And then you're just going to start mixing it up. All right, and then after it's all mixed up, that's it. You're just going to pop it into a container. Now you want to make sure if you are grinding up your own SCI noodles into powder that it gets into a very very fine powder. The finer the powder is the easier it is to incorporate in here and you get a really really smooth end product. So we're just going to go ahead and pop that in here. And there you go. So there's your second. This is a foaming, creamy cleanser. So we're gonna go ahead, pop the lid on this one, set it aside, and then we're gonna make the third one. So for this one, we're gonna be making a foaming sugar scrub. This is so awesome because I've just gotten good at making sugar scrub, foaming sugar scrubs from scratch. And this is going to be another great option for you guys to make your foaming sugar scrubs from scratch. So I'm going to be doing this one strawberry um, fragrance. So I'm going to put a little tiny bit of candy apple red mica in there. And then I'm going to add in my fragrance oil. I'm using strawberry fragrance oil. This one comes from Brambleberry. It's a good strawberry fragrance. And then we're going to go ahead and mix the mica and the fragrance oil into the base before we do anything else. And then see if we want to add any more mica. This will lighten up too once we add the SCI and the sugar. Okay. I add just a little bit more mica. I know it's gonna lighten up quite a bit. And then I'm going to add in my SCI. To get this a good mix and just get it nice and combined and dampen down that that SCI. Stir slowly until it gets mixed and then you can get a little bit more vigorous with it. There 
go. And then we're gonna add some sugar to this one. And I'll add a little bit of poppy seeds in there as well. This would make a cute watermelon flavored or watermelon fragranced one too. So in goes the sugar. Okay. It looks like a lot of sugar, but it does incorporate in perfectly. Check this out, it's awesome. It makes such an amazing sugar scrub. Look at that. Check that out. It's perfectly scoopable. It's awesome. Okay, and just to add a little bit more interest to this one, I'm just gonna add a little bit of poppy seeds. You can totally leave that out if you want. going to be putting in a little bit. All right, and then we're going to put this in another little PET container here. You could pipe this if you wanted. And there's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid on this one. And then I'll give you a use demo on all three products. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and try out the gel to milk cleanser. I just wanted to give you an idea too of what the Coco Kind one looks like. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand here so you can see it. Okay, it looks exactly like the one that we just made, almost exactly. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this one and rub it in to show you. So what you do, you do this on your face. You rub it in. It feels a lot just like um, an ointment or a balm. You rub it in dry, and this is what's gonna lift the oil, dirt, makeup from your skin because it's made mostly of oil. And oil attracts oil. So the oil is gonna lift gently the dirt and impurities from your skin, and it's gonna help to protect your microbiome and your skin mantle. It's very, very gentle. So then you just take a little bit of water on your fingers, and as you can see, it turns to a milk. That is emulsifying right there on your skin. And it becomes like a creamy lotion-like substance. And then you can just easily, easily rinse it off. So no oily residue left on your skin. You're left with smooth, soft, clean, hydrated skin. Okay. I love it. It works beautifully. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is the 
foaming creamy cleanser that we made okay I'm just gonna scoop a little bit out this one smells good a little bit of this stuff goes a long way so I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in it has a nice gentle it feels very very silky so a lot like the gel to milk cleanser except it's foaming up and getting very very silky and giving you these lacy like bubbles it's amazing look at how foaming this gets just off that tiny tiny bit so you could make your own cream cleansers just like that your creamy foaming cleansers this would be good for your face and your body and then you just go ahead and rinse it off and then again I'm sure there are other ways to incorporate liquid surfactants because again this is you can it does act as an emulsifier the sucre clear does act as an emulsifier as well so you can add if you want I just haven't played around with those ratios yet I was trying to keep this more of an anhydrous product so here's the strawberry foaming sugar scrub I have a little bit left over here in my container so I'm going to show you this a little bit goes a long way and I have to tell you <laughs> this is awesome it's like I to me it's the best foaming sugar scrub I've ever made it just feels super good it's the perfect consistency it exfoliates beautifully and you just add a little bit of water to activate the lather and you get this beautiful beautiful lather I've been using this in my shower and I am obsessed with it check that out isn't that amazing It feels, again, just hydrating, lotion-like, silky, and beautiful. All right, everybody, that's how you make a gel to milk cleanser, a foaming creamy cleanser, and a foaming sugar scrub. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave comments or questions below. That really means a lot to me. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. All right, everybody, catch you on the next video. Bye, keep shining.